What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Hey, Kagro. If you, uh, have some time, what do you say we go get coffee? Oh, well, I've never been asked by a guy before, and it's Yuito of all people. <laughs> is it that unexpected? Of course it is. After all, I am the one who killed your father. I've said a lot of things to you and dragged you around, but I thought you'd still have something against me. I still have mixed feelings about you, and... You're right. I can't just forgive what you did. Yeah, I figured. But that's why I want to know who you are, and what you're thinking. And it was a nice break going to town with you. Huh. If that's how it is, how about we do something less boring than just coffee? Less boring? Hey, where are you taking me? I could tell you now, but that would spoil the surprise. You said something less boring, but this place is pretty deserted. <laughs> you probably shouldn't believe everything someone like me says. I was lying. Okay. Why did you bring me here? Well, you did say you wanted to understand me. I chose this place because I don't think anyone will bother us here. Don't hesitate to ask me whatever you want. You have the right to do so. Well... I do have something I've been wanting to ask you. You said you wanted to stop Togetsu for your family, right? Yeah. Everything I've worked for up till now was to stop Togetsu's plans. To protect the existence of my family. Of my daughter. For 2,000 years, that's all I lived for. Well, I told you most of that already. Yeah. I understood that. And I don't doubt it at all. But there is still something I just don't understand. What's that? You already stopped Togetsu. You finally reached your goal. So what's wrong? Why do you still look so unsatisfied? Oh? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. You know, you're something, kid. Very innocent. Maybe too innocent. What? You're not still hiding something, are you? Well, everything I've told you up till now was definitely true. But if there is something, I guess it's that I'm burned out. You're burned out? <laughs> what do you mean? It's been 2,000 years. My family, the world I know, they're all far in the past. I have nothing now. I don't feel anything. I'm totally empty inside. I achieved the only goal I had. Now I'm just remaining in this world with no real meaning. Kind of like a ghost. I know what it feels like to lose your family. I lost mine too. But how can you talk like that? You're the one who murdered my father. You're telling me that the person who killed my family is a burned out coward? I'm sorry if it makes you mad, but that's how I feel. You're the one who wanted to know. So, do you want to kill me now? No, I don't. Thank you for being honest with me. I'll talk to you anytime. You beat the crap out of me in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Okay then, that's enough serious talk. Time to head out to town. Wait, what? That was a quick turnaround. I can't believe you want to go out now. I told you I'd take you somewhere less boring, didn't I? You need to pay attention. Um, you just told me not to believe what someone like you says. All right, today I'll show you how real men have fun in Suo. This is gonna be fantastic. He said fun was escaping reality, but I think he might be enjoying himself just a little too much. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes, Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. 
I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. I think we make a pretty good team. Hmm, I guess so. So, do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Did something happen? You look serious. I got a message from my uncle. You mean the OSF hospital's chairman? Can you tell me what it was about? Yeah, but be ready. You won't like it. He said, It seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently, but you don't need to get involved. If you consider yourself a part of the Ichijo family, then keep your mouth shut. He's clearly threatening you. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. We managed to expose so much to the public, but the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Are you sure, though? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand proudly as a member of the OSF. Then let's think together on how we can go after the chairman's crimes. We basically need to find irrefutable evidence that my uncle and the others were connected to that research. Yeah, but that data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together, then. about that later. We need to save her first. You're right. Let's hurry. <laughs> Damn it! There's too many of them! Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire around her to keep the others away? If I do that, the woman would get burned too. Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure, but my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something, watch out!
You can do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Take care of these guys. Did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Th thank you. I thought I was dead. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. Something like boys. Don't get it on you. Thanks, Nobby. Yeah. That's nice. It's burning. Here we go. Yeah. all of them yeah thank goodness you came up with that fire idea sorry I put you on the spot but I couldn't have protected her without you oh right where's the woman we saved um first let me thank you for saving me please we only did our jobs as members of the OSF so you're with the OSF like I thought why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? No, we mean you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumeragi, the traitor? I guess that means you're not with the government. Okay, I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes. I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth, and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we're here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher-ups won't be able to make excuses. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself, when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers, to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you.
I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first, but I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Yes, thank you. You look relieved. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh. But maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. I thought my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies. But now I see I can use it to protect someone too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out, so I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout. This might not come out right, but it's more fun living in the unit than I thought. It's a little inconvenient, though. Yeah, but everyone in our platoon is nice, and I'm always with you. I hope we can keep fighting together. Being with you makes me feel... safe. Maybe it's time to move beyond being childhood friends. What? I'm nothing! Why are you anxious? I like that we're childhood friends. I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane. Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk some more private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, 
So that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. But there's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. I actually did cry a little, though. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. She said it doesn't suit her. But she is like a big sister sometimes. What? You look like you want to say something. Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. Oh, Yuito. I wanted to talk to you. Sure, what is it? I just wanted to thank you. It's strange, but whenever I talk to you, I feel relieved. It's kind of like you're to me what Baki is to you. I wonder if I understand your feelings better. Communicating with someone is difficult. Yeah, it's not like I'm good at it either, but I get what you're saying. wondering if there were any other plants you want me to find? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, all right. You look really disappointed. What's up all of a sudden? Well, I wanted to help you. You always help me. Not only in battle, but with the flowers, too. That's more than enough. But I... Huh? What is it? Oh, sorry. 
You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. But wait, I'll say it. I have to. I want to be brave. Sugumi? I want to be... For... I want to be your friend. Huh? You want to be my friend? I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen to me, so I want to be your friend. I looked for the white flowers because I wanted to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Oh, that's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah, I didn't lie then, but the main reason was because I wanted you to be my friend. So, I asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you... don't want to be my friend? What are you talking about? We're already friends. What? That's how I feel, anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But... but... I can't talk normally. And I couldn't bring the flower back. I wasn't any help. Whether you're helping or not doesn't matter. Friends are friends. Besides, you've been talking normally for a while now. The way I talk isn't normal. I just blush and go quiet. I can't look people in the eyes. Listen, it's fine if that's normal for you. But what do you think is normal anyways? Being able to talk a lot without pausing. If you don't do that, people don't understand. That's not true. Even if you don't talk very much, I understand how you feel. Really? I mean, you found that flower's name from the little that I remembered, and you were going to climb Hiano Mountain by yourself. Seeing all that, there's no question how much you care about me. Anyone would agree. And who else but a friend would go through that much trouble? You think so? Yeah. Take plants, for example. They make you feel good just by being around and not talking, right? Yeah. So don't feel like you have to go to great lengths or change who you are just to please others. I think you should just be yourself, just as you are now. That's kind of strange. I've never thought I could be myself. I always wanted to be normal. I thought that if I was, I would be able to make friends besides Kagura. Like I said, I'm your friend. So stressing yourself out is the last thing I want you to do. Just like that white flower. You left it alone because you thought it would be happier living on the mountain. I think you should live the way that's easiest for you as well. That sounds a little pompous, though. No, it doesn't. I'm happy. Same here. I'm happy to call you my friend. Yeah, we're friends. Oh, right. About the flowers. I just thought of one I want to find. What? Go on. We couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before. So, I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? And I'm just asking as a friend, so... There are a lot. There's no direct sunlight inside the hideout, so... A flower that can live inside the shade is best. Like a spathophyllum. Spatho... what now? But we should take it outside to get some sun once in a while. It's hard for flowers to bloom without ever getting sunlight. Soil, too. If it's not the right soil for the flower, it will wilt. I know a good shop for soil. I'll take you there. Um... I was hoping for an easier one. Like, one for beginners. There are no easy plants. They're all living things. Got it. So first, I should get serious about this. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. She has no trouble talking about plants. She sees me as a friend too. I guess that means we're real friends now. There's no other way to put it. Okay. I'm ready to learn, Professor Sugumi. Sure. 
I'll start with the basics. Make sure you take notes. Huh? Right. Okay. Good news! I finished the f What? You're still developing that? What's with that reaction? Don't worry, you should like this version. Okay, let's go to Masubi's and talk about it. I've added new functions to version 1.1 of the Forced Break program. It's a system that teaches you simple relaxation methods when you enter rest mode. Now give it a try. I didn't come here to test this, Arashi. Why don't you quit developing this program? You came all the way here to tell me that? What a waste of time. You should have just refused when I invited you. No, I think it's important for me to tell you this. Hmm. I'm all ears for your elegant speech, oh great one. It's not like that. I just don't know about forcing a break through a program. There are easier ways to help people relax. You could offer to listen to their problems, or give them some advice. I see. I'll have to explore those options. Why don't you tell me about your problems then, Yuito? What? I'm taking your suggestion. You have a lot of pent-up feelings because of all this hard work you're doing, right? So, out with it. I don't know where to start. Like, my family and brother? Chief Sumeragi? That's a bit of a touchy issue. Yeah. I had no idea he was involved in something like that. He even set me up as a traitor. My dad didn't tell me anything either. I understand your confusion. Although I can understand why the Chief did what he did. Does that mean you approve of their methods? I didn't say that. I don't endorse them or forgive what they did. However, the way they're willing to sacrifice their own family if necessary is something I can see myself doing. Would you be able to do that to Major General Fubuki? You could sacrifice your own brother depending on the situation? I would, but he wouldn't be able to make the same decision. For better or worse, he's still a child. You two are similar in that way. What's that supposed to mean? Children think they can save everyone, but that's not how reality works. There will always be something that needs to be sacrificed. Grown-ups have to figure out the line to draw on what to give up. I think you hate being that kind of grown-up. <laughs> Is that so? Well, you might be right. If I stayed a kid, I might be happier thinking I could do anything. Being able to selfishly slack off whenever I want is something a grown-up gets to do. Pretty cool, right? No, grown-ups shouldn't slack off. You really are so much like him. You look like Chief Kaito. What? No one's ever told me that before. Really? You're just as damn serious as he is. You also try to keep the peace. Well, your personality and tastes are different, but I like you more than the Chief anyway. Hmm. I think I have a better understanding of the way you think. What? You know what I'm thinking? She hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know! I'll call that person up! She isn't going to like this, but if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi! 
Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki? I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. So consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> My vision! It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision, so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome! How's that for relaxing, Huito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Looks like you're working hard. I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> You're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. It's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. However, you should not overdo it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Yuito. This is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? 
Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca... Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word. No matter what. You're working very hard, Yuito. You think so? Thanks. <laughs> You're gentle, earnest, and straightforward. It makes me a little jealous. I can't be like you, and I don't have to. But I still recognize your good qualities. <laughs> I'd like to get to know you even better. I was actually thinking the same thing. I think we can be better friends. Yuito, do you have a moment? You look worried. Did something happen? Yes, I must conduct this with the utmost secrecy. It's slightly dangerous. It may be difficult to manage on my own. So I was wondering if you could help me. Of course I'll help. So how dangerous is it? For a while now, I've been looking into the research conducted at the old OSF hospital. During the investigation, I discovered research data was stolen by a spy from Ceyron. I can't go into details, but it's very dangerous. It must be erased as soon as possible. So you want to infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? Yes. 
It should be in the Supernatural Life Research Facility. Okay. Will it just be the two of us? Yes, that would be best. I guess fewer people involved would be better for secrecy. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. I know it's kind of late to bring this up, but... I need your help!
take this. Go, Yui Tong. There are more others than I expected. I was right to bring you with me. If we take too much time getting there, they may detect us and move the research data to another location. I'm glad I came. Why were you looking into the research at the old OSF hospital anyway? I apologize if this sounds harsh, but I'll be honest with you. While I was observing you, I feared that I might lose my power one day as well. Oh. Well, you are a dud like me. Yes, I began looking into the research the government did on powers to alleviate my fear. I was hoping I would discover a way to treat the loss of powers. Is that why you asked for my help? Yes. Since you already know my secret, I didn't have to lie to you. It was rather selfish for me to ask you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you asked me to help, no matter the reason. So, did you find what you were looking for? Unfortunately, no. In fact, I found the opposite. You don't mean... Yes. It's data on eradicating psionic hormones from human brains with drugs and completely erasing powers. <laughs> Why would they research something like that? It seems their plan was to use it as a weapon to depower enemy psionics. And now Sayron is continuing that research. If it's implemented, it'll be a huge threat to the OSF, since we use our powers as a weapon. And many more people will face discrimination as duds. We have to stop this research. Let's find that data and erase it. You're so amazing. You investigated the laboratory all by yourself and even carried out an infiltration plan. <laughs> I may not look like it, but I have been on many OSF missions in my life. Now, it is too early to relax. Our mission isn't over yet. Is this the lab researching the stolen data? It should be. It seems no one is here. Let's get this done. What is this? <laughs> no. What's wrong? It seems Seiron's research has already progressed further than I expected. This is a plan to disperse the drug indiscriminately and turn an entire city into duds. If they use this, 
They may be able to turn all humans in New Himuka into duds. What is Seiron thinking? Delete that right now. <sighs> What's the matter? Delete the data, Luca. I just had a strange thought. Have you ever wondered what the world would be like if there were no powers? What are you saying? I've thought about it all my life. <sighs> Our society is fixated on the superiority of powers. Whether you have powers or not decides your fate. But if all humans were duds, no one would ever have to worry about powers again. How much tragedy have you seen that would never have happened if there were no powers? Calm down. Do you understand what you're saying? I do. Then you know that no tragedy will be prevented by a weapon like that. People cause those tragedies, not powers. Taking them away won't solve anything. I know this has been bothering you. I get worried when I think I might lose my power too. <sighs> but that doesn't make it right to take them all away. You're the one that is most fixated on the superiority of powers. I apologize. That was a bad joke. Huh? That was... a joke? Uh, come on. Don't scare me like that. Don't worry. I've deleted all data related to the research, including the backups. That's a relief. Let's go back. It's dangerous to teleport with so many others around. So we should take the same route we came. Yeah, okay. Let's go. The way he was talking... Even if it was a joke, he sounded kind of serious. He must have been really hurting to be tempted by it. Our mission is complete. That was good work. I'm glad nothing happened. You surprised me a little back there. I was only teasing you. Besides, I'll be honest with you. I hated you for a bit. What? It was more jealousy than hatred. I've been a research subject ever since I was young. We're both duds, but your family still loved you. I thought that you could never really understand how I felt. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I didn't know you felt that way. You don't need to apologize. What you said before made something clear to me. We see the world differently because we've lived different lives. And because of that, I think there are things I could learn from you. You're right. I am the one that is fixated on superiority of powers. <laughs> that was in the heat of the moment. I'm embarrassed to have acted like such a child. Are you disappointed that someone like me is a Septentrion? No. I'm glad you told me how you really feel. I hope you'll feel free to be honest with me in the future. You certainly are honest to a fault. Perhaps I could learn that as well. So, should we run back to the hideout? What? It's pretty far. You're here, so why don't we teleport? Stamina is just as important as strength. Let's go. That's not what I meant when I said to feel free. Do you ever get tired of being a member of the OSF? Um... The reality is different from my ideal, but there's a lot I couldn't do if I wasn't here. That's true. You did choose to join us of your own will. I respect you for seeing the realities of the OSF and remaining unswayed. I'd like to talk with you some more. I hope you feel the same way. Of course. You know a lot of stuff, so it's fun talking to you. <laughs>